What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in this one, we're taking a look at the new Audi A1 City Carver. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look around the car and uh, see what it's all about. So this is the A1 City Carver, and this is based on the A1 Sportsback. So you get that sporty look, yet rugged and very aggressive looking. You got that octagonal uh, single frame design as well. So if you look on the front, you got that big grille that looks like a Q-Series. In fact, I kind of like this design. So this is updated. Uh, you got nice technology pack in there. So you get updated infotainment system inside as well. So if you look on the arches, you see that you've ride just a bit higher than the normal A1 and you've got that plastic cladding all around it to protect it, give it extra protection, that rugged look. And you've got that same design language all around the car. Lots of shape going on around here. And I like this uh, Misano red color as well. It's very bright, stands out. And uh, I like the spoiler on the back as well. It gives it that extra sporty look again. And uh, if you look on the back, there's no exhaust available here that you can see visibly. So they've put that octagonal design again on the back again. So the design language is very, very uh, equal, kind of unique uh, in its own right. In terms of engine, this is the 116 PS one liter engine. And uh, if you want something a bit faster, you've also got the 150 PS available as well. So you've got options available if you want something just a bit faster, a tad bit faster as well. But what I like about this is the rugged look of it. It almost looks like, like a Q series, like a Q1 almost. You might as well call it that. Uh, but it's the A1 series and it looks amazing. Going on the front again, I love that honeycomb insert on the front it looks really nice and up-to-date very somewhat futuristic but not too futuristic it just looks up-to-date and looks like the Q series and something that we're getting used to on Audi vehicles now and I'm glad they've brought that over to the A1 series especially the City Carver getting inside of the car let's talk about the boot space so you got a big boot space here I think it's just over 330 litres in fact to be accurate it's 335 litre capacity on the back so you can easily fit your luggage you can even adjust uh, the the card insert in the back in the boot so it can go lower or higher depending on what you want you can uh, fold the back seat as well so you can get more room space in fact my old a1 that i had previously i was able to get myself a brand new uh, washing machine and fit it in the car with no issues at all and transport that home with no hassle so if you're uh Someone who goes to Ikea a lot to buy things, this might be very, very useful for you without having to buy a big car or take a van with you uh, to buy your things. Going on to the front of the driver's side in front of the car, you can see the infotainment system is very driver focused. So if you see the angle that it's facing, it's facing the driver. Uh, so it's easy to operate, easy to reach uh, whilst driving, although you should have been doing that, uh, to be honest. Uh, you've got that 10.1 inch high resolution screen uh, navigation area there so that uh, infotainment area there it looks really nice and uh, very responsive as well you've got a technology upgrade pack in this so you've got Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system with 560 watts of music power and it sounds amazing you can tweak the settings in terms of treble uh, surround level you can tweak uh, the bass level as well which is really good then moving over to that instrument cluster you can see that that's dynamic as well so you can change the view to depend on what you find uh, valuable for you to look at if you prefer to look at the map uh, your, your music collection you can see all that in there very easily there's no heads up display here unfortunately and then moving down you've got usb ports and a usb c as well for 2020 most devices now uh, are usb c ports uh, available uh, ready and you've also got that wireless charging as well uh, for easily just placing your mobile phone there and it can charge wirelessly whilst driving so again by the time you park up your phone is fully topped up ready to go this is also compatible with android auto and apple carplay so you can use you, you can use your phone interface on the infotainment system so you don't have to use Audi zone so again you can use things like your uh, google maps on there without having to worry about it at all this car is also connected to the internet so you get updates regularly and you also get your maps uh, update come through whenever there's an update as well which is really good and useful and very handy just like most audi cars as well you've got that drive select which i really like it means you can select comfort mode you can you can uh, create your own individual settings or you can select comfort mode uh dynamic mode which makes it a little bit more sportier uh with with s-tronic engine uh, gearbox sorry you can easily just switch into manual mode so you can control it manually put it in sports mode so you can go a bit faster more responsive but although driving around town so far it has no issues at all moving off the line and getting up to speed very easily and when you get on the motorway as well it just handles the road very well with no issues at all one thing I learned about this as well is this is not a quattro engine which is quite disappointing because I'd love to, I would love to have that four-wheel drive in a car like this especially especially for maybe a little bit of off-roading or countryside driving that kind of stuff having said that though the suspensions are quite quite comfortable when going over speed bumps uh, it's very neat and it's the car generally just feels comfortable when driving it out and about when you need to get serious and get up to speed as well handles corners with no issues the steering wheel just feels nice and directly connected to what you're doing there's no latency so when you're turning and stuff you don't have to worry about turning and then 
waiting for it, that lag, do you know what I mean? So you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So he's very, very responsive and I like that. In terms of safety, you have that Audi PreSense uh, uh, front with uh, pedestrian, you've got cyclist recognition as well, and you've got that lane departure warning and hill hold uh, assist, which is good. Again, this is the basic things that I expect from Audi. Uh, they're very big on technology, they're very big on design. That's not an issue, that's an issue at all when it comes to building a car and designing a car that everyone wants. In terms of options on this particular version that I've got here, you've got technology pack in there for just £1,695. You've got plus pack, you've got comfort and sound pack. With that sound pack, you get that Bang & Lewis and sound system in there. Uh, you've got space saving spare wheel in there. You've got toolkit and jack and plenty more. Uh, all in all for this pack, you get £28,000 uh, worth of vehicle in front of you. Again, that's something to consider if you want to buy something else. So that's it for the Audi A1 City Carver.